Hello guys, welcome to another interesting videos how I did my CND certified network defense. There's a lot of confusion where I hear a lot of people asking, should I go for CEH or CND? Because CEH is ethical hacking. It's an offensive course where you learn how to attack someone. So you'll be learning all the techniques to attack. But here you'll be learning techniques to defend your networks, to defend your devices, to defend, to defend your infrastructure. Sometimes if you're an ethical hacker, you will be able to protect your devices. You'll be able to protect your infrastructure. But yes, most of the organizations, they want you to be certified network defender or have such a kind of certification where they can ensure or they can rely on you that you're the eligible person who is able to protect their infrastructure. So for this, we have a certification from EC Council, which is a certified network defender. So let's see what we have in the certification. I'm also going to show you how I did my CND. So let's get started. How I did my CND. So on my screen, let's talk about CND, which is certified network defender. How I did my CND global certification which is Certified Network Defender. And the latest version which we have is CNDV2. So a few months back, it has undergone various changes. There was CNDV1, but after that we have CNDV2 where we have a lot of interesting concepts. So there are 20 modules starting with network attacks and defense strategies, administrate, uh, administrative network security, technical network security, network perimeter security, which is for firewalls and all that, endpoint security for Windows systems, endpoint security for Linux system, endpoint security for mobile devices, endpoint security for IoT devices. Then we have administrative application security, data security, enterprise virtual network security, enterprise cloud network security, enterprise wireless network security, network traffic monitoring and analysis, log monitoring and analysis for the network, Instant response and forensic investigation, business continuity and disaster recovery, risk anticipation with risk management, threat assessment with attack surface analysis, threat prediction with cyber threat intelligence. So these are very interesting topics. Official training will be for five days, nine to 5 p.m. So five into eight, 40 hours. So these are the resources I've already covered in one of my previous videos that you can go to these resources and search for, from, for some practice questions. EC Council would not you know, uh, uh, recommend or they would not appreciate or they would not like you to cheat in exam, but to see some practice questions, you can go such uh, sites. You know, these are some sites or you can go to Google and search for some practice questions like VC plus IT exams, exam topics, YouTube. Search for some practice questions and see if you can find some questions so that it'll be easy for you. Because if you see the questions they have been asking previously, that's going to make you ready for your exam. It will be easy for you, or it will give you some confidence because time management is very important. 100 questions, four hours, multiple choice questions. You have to register at EC Council Exam Center. And this is the code 31238. So if you want to search for practice questions on Google, just search for 31238 and you'll be able to see some practice questions related to CND. In order to maintain the high integrity of our certificate exam, EC Council exams are provided in multiple forms. Each form is carefully analyzed through beta testing with an appropriate sample group under the guidance of community of subject matter experts. This approach ensures our exams offer academic difficulty as well as real world applications. We also have a process to determine the difficulty rating of each question, the individual rating then contributes to an overall cut score for each exam form. To ensure each form adheres to assessment standard, cut scores are set on an per exam form basis, depending on which exam form is challenged. So cut score can be from the range of 60 to 85%. So that is the passing score. So that means it's going to change based on how you answer in an exam. But I would say roughly if you achieve somehow between 60 to 85% for most of the exams, that is where you'll be able to pass this exam. Brochure is available here, which is 2020. So this is the latest one for CNDV2. I will add this in description, so it will be helpful so that you can check 
all other things which I have not included here. So you'll be able to understand what this CND is actually, you know, apart from those topics and the exam, because these are very important. What are the topics? Uh, you know, what, uh, what is the exam? So the resources and planning. So I would say take one month because I spend almost uh, two weeks. So if you're a good fast learner, you can go for two weeks or medium learner, three weeks. Or if you're uh, like, you know, slow learner, then, uh, you know, it depends on like if you're a slow learner, you can take one month. If you're a medium learner, three weeks. If you're a fast learner, two weeks. So 10 days to go through course content. I would say go through the course and in 10 days because it is going to cover a lot of basics of networking if you're not sure. But if basics, basics of networking is clear, then you need to spend less time here. So average 10 days to go through the course content, two modules each day. Seven days to go through the lab because there's very interesting labs which are being designed by EC Council. So you can go through the lab manual because once you register in Aspen portal, you will be given access to the lab manual as well as PDF, which you need to go through. So there's no need to buy any book, but you can go through the PDF, which is from EC Council, and you'll be you'll, you'll be able to see all those questions from that PDF. So three days to go through practice questions and three days to revise. So 10 plus seven. 17, 18, 19, 20, 23. So I take it like one month because I take week as five days. So two days will be your off. So if you take week as five days, so five into four, 20 days. So I will say one month is five. And you'll be able to see this uh, brochure, uh, this, this badge from EC Council and also a certificate, which you will be able to see once you pass your exam. So once you register in EC Council exam center and Aspen portal to download all the content, then you appear for the exam. So what will happen here is once you uh, once you appear for the exam, so you got four hours, hundred questions, and it is up to you, you know, to how how soon you finish. Maybe sometimes you finish it in two hours or maybe one hour, but I would say like two hours or two point five or three hours is the maximum time which you will spend if basic is clear. Or or else you can, you might be spending. Uh, four hours, which is suggested because you need to go through those questions again to see if you made any mistake. So first attempt those questions which you know, and for other questions which you are not sure, you can keep them on review. So at the end, you will be able to see those questions which are under review, right? And then you submit your question uh, exam. So at the same time, you'll be able to see whether you pass or fail, and then they're going to send your certificate. You have also an option where you can give a print of your hard copy, and this is Certified Network Defender. You have also Advanced Network Defender, A and D, C and D, and then A and D, Advanced Network Defender. But first, this is needed if you work in security and testing. This is the certification which is recognized, uh, by, you know, by most of the organizations. So CH is very famous, but C and D also is getting a lot of popularity now nowadays because CH is more into offensive and C and D is more into defense. So see you in some other video, maybe with some other topic. So keep supporting, please do like, subscribe and share, keep supporting. I am very thankful to all of you who are liking, subscribing and sharing to my channel. So I'll be coming up with some interesting videos. I'll see you.